Welcome back to Access Scotland Camp, connecting you to our team. I'm joined here by Ewan and Ollie <laughs> and myself, Murphy Walker. Um, so, guys, how's camp been the last few weeks? It's been hard. It's been very fun, but it's been very hard. We've been all over the place as well, actually. We've been yeah. in Nice. We've been in St Andrews. We've been here at our base at the Orium. Actually, how was St Andrews? Yeah, it was class. It's class. Tried to hand at golf a bit. Um, yeah, that was yeah. terrible. Was I was very bad. What missed did you do in the challenge? What was put, your putting? You putting? I got yeah. there. They put the worst man on putting, and I still missed mm. every single one. Five putts, probably about ten feet. Missed every single one. Short, pulling it, pushing it. All sorts, mate. I couldn't yeah. tell you. They were all over the shop. <laughs> they were all over the shop. Um, no, St Andrews was good. It was good. Yeah, it was nice. Nice, 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 nice spot. Nice yeah. Part of the world that. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. yeah, very lucky. Very fortunate. Did you get hit by any balls sitting in the little? No, but area? when we were going out to our Ryder Cup event, there was a couple of golfers who I think every single one of them hit the hotel. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, t it's a good line. But I was going to say, I remember Jay was sat on his phone and a ball landed literally about a metre away from him. Lucky boy. Oof. There's a few, Jamie Doby. Jamie Doby was smacking. Jamie, Jamie Doby smacks the ball. Yeah. Pound for yeah, pound so time. could be the strongest ball. Yeah, dark champion. course, nobody was expecting it. And he was, was whacking it. 3 five, one drive, which is ridiculous. Well, we played the day before and there was a strong <laughs> headwind. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Stainer would oh, have hit it further than that. Stainer would have hit it 300 with a headwind. You had a tailwind. I beg to differ. Anyway. What about other sports? Cricket, the team cricket. Yeah, cricket's not my thing really. Yeah, again, questionable bowling going on. Roy as, soon as, I Crosby. as soon as I saw Ashley getting the crease, I was <laughs> in there and I got him out. You didn't get me out. <laughs> you got my partner out. <laughs> yeah. first, ball, first ball, Crosby hit his own stumps. So <laughs> I'll take it. But were you not in the final? Yeah, we were in the final. Yeah, and you? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah we won. East, oh, East, yeah. yeah, they won. East Obviously, v East Beasts. We lost by six runs, I think, in the end. Some questionable calls, though, by Pete oh, DeVillers. Oh, he's full of excuses. Say, who was your he's full we had, of David excuses. we had Pete DeVillers on the crease, and then we had the guy behind with the, doing this one. It was Tandy. Oh. He was all right. He lost his voice, but <laughs> Pete DeVillers called me out, and I was Steve lost his voice from umpiring? No, no, no. The day oh, before. right. We had Edgy, and he was actually stood there with his little notepad, taking off runs, and... He definitely has got something against the Caledonia Cougars because our <laughs> our team was not <laughs> anywhere near the wings. I think we've got 26 runs. Yeah, the of. final was definitely better. We had about 70 runs in the final. Yeah, we had 26. Because I was just Duane. sending Smithy's balls for four <laughs> like, every time. Duan got into ball and I think Steno hit him for like 27 and six from six balls or something like that. Lost sixes in there. We've also, there hasn't been a massive buy-in, I don't think, but the Love Island group. Oh, there's not really a group. It's just me <laughs> it's and just Dobie. A three ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, you me and Dobie sit down and get tucked off in Ben, watch yeah. Love Island. It's, it's been a good season though. It has, it has been uh, a good season. I'm not used I wasn't <laughs> watching it at the start. I feel sorry that I'm leaving you out a bit. Oh mate, I'm happy to be left on. Have you been group. watching it now? Nah, nah, it's loser. not for me. Loser. Um It's been yeah, it's been good. I didn't watch it at the start until we came into camp and you know I got persuaded. Yeah. Twisted well, your arm. <laughs> There's quite a few Scottish folk on it as well. There's a couple, yeah. The There's a couple Scottish folk, yeah. Could win it, you know. <laughs> Who do you reckon most likely out of the squad did you see going, going on it and being successful? Because remember, our, remember, I was, was going to say, that's yeah. the obvious one. That's such an obvious yeah. answer. Yeah, he's yeah. like Love Island final boss, I beat the final <laughs> boss, you know what I mean? He's a yeah. uh, final boss. <laughs> he's uh, yeah. he's made for that, I reckon he do quite well. He's a bit Pan, of a character as well. And the teeth. Yeah. Rig. Whoa, whoa. Blair would probably... Uh, shredded. What, he's just shredded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his and his and uh, and his mate Blair would probably do alright as yeah, well. Yeah, they do yeah. quite well, I think. Yeah, but they I was I was well. surprised. Not you, Murph, unfortunately. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Need I to get be some CGI or something <laughs> for your rig, mate. <laughs> I'd be the bomb shot at the end, and they all just fall <laughs> to my knees. Um, I was surprised though by the buy-in this year because you remember in Argentina. Yes, Argentina, Argentina was Argentina. religiously watched. Yeah, it was huge buy-in. But then I feel like. There was a lot more downtime in Argentina, and it was on. Yeah. We'd always be a day behind, and we'd watch yeah, it after during training. the day, you know, yeah, rather yeah. than being late at night. And it'd know. be test week, so like yeah. you say, everyone's not quite so 
quite so tired and yeah, exactly. has a bit more time for chatting and the having a bit of a crack. The folk were literally racing there to get the best seat. Yeah. Yeah, Usually true. get the physio was good. to pop it up. That was good. Yeah. Get the feet up. Even the coaches got fired in as well. JD was a <laughs> he was a yeah. consistent watcher. Um, Doc as well, Doc Robson, he loved it. So yeah, maybe we can get more folk on board. I mean, it's coming to the end, but we'll try to grow our group. Right, moving on. The upcoming fixtures. Which yes. one are you most excited about? Ooh. France. Yeah. For the warm-up games, definitely France, just because they're flying at the moment. You know, yeah. they're top top team. They play exciting brand of rugby, and it's kind of like um, you, s- you want to play against the best teams, don't you? So I definitely, uh, definitely got the boys uh, buzzing for that one. Yeah. Yourself? Same? Yeah, you got to say France. Played against many of the boys, do you know? Uh, I don't think in the French team. Um, I think maybe M- Labelle, maybe. But most of those guys, like Intermac and Dupont, were maybe a couple years older than me, so yeah. I never played against them. Played against Garbizzi, though, all the way through, like 18s, 20s and stuff. He was a, he was a handful. Yeah. Um, I think that my first year, 20s, I played against Intermac, Carbonell. Um, that was a good team. Uh, what's his name? The big prop, Bamba, Demba, Demba Bamba. Bamba. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were pretty stacked. Um, oh, oh, yeah. And also the captain of Italy, he was the captain of Italy, 20s at that time. Was he? Michelle Lamaro, yeah. So I didn't realise he was that young. Some familiar faces. I think Georgia's going to be a bit of a dark horse we're going to play. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. They're all, yeah, they're always tricky. Physical. Yeah. Physical confrontation. Big guys. In your yeah. face, yeah. But you've played Italy before, obviously, Six Nations. Yes, Italy Six Nations. That was a hell of a game. It was a good game, yeah. Left it late. Yeah, good finish. Very good, good finish. finish, yeah. It was good fun. That was nice, yeah. Nice nerves. way to finish. What were the nerves like? For the game? Yeah. Or at the end of the How game? How was your third, third start? cap? third cap yeah it was yeah. Um, first start no no sorry not first no, start no 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 um, yeah no it was nerve wracking first Six Nations game so like it feels like there's more in the line did Maybe the crab not hit crazy. you like 60 minutes or something oh, I can't remember I came off with like 10 to go or something like that, that but explains yeah, I think it I got explains a good yeah. finish actually. yeah true, <laughs> true, 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 true true nice right speak to me about a Murrayfield match day experience. When you were younger, what do you reckon was the first game you came to? The to first watch game. Scottish too, Gas Murrayfield. I was too young to remember. Because I remember my dad. I go in and watch Argentina, but I must have been. That was when I was really wee, like. Yeah. I just fallen asleep, like, in the crowd. But mm. I remember my first actual memory was probably. Greg Laidlaw kicked a. Like, last minute. Ireland, maybe? Last minute penalty, now it was Australia. It was Australia. Oh. I remember Matt Scott playing. I, I really liked Matt Scott at that time. How very you fitting. Like anymore. Australia, first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm sure it was like chucking it down and I was right up in the rafters. That was a hell of a win. That and was a good win. at the top. Uh, yeah, exactly. So um, that's probably my first memory. That was a good win. Yeah. What's your first memory of watching Scotland Murphy? Um, it was one of the Six Nations games. I'm going to say Ireland way back. It was actually when I was at school. When we took like when the school took buses oh, of yeah. kids to I school, that. so yeah, yeah, I think it was like 2014, 2013. Yeah, I don't actually, know. It was actually pretty cool because the school always had that little corner, and yeah, usually all right the tries corner. got finished in that corner, so it was quite cool. I uh, my first one when I played for Mar, we used to go to Kelso. We do a Kelso tournament every year, and it'd be a weekend thing because obviously that's quite far away from yeah. Trun. Um, and we went to a Scotland Italy game. I seem to remember, and we were up in the right in the top and uh, Sean Lamont scored right in front of us I remember that obviously right in front of us he was like 20 metres <laughs> down but like there. yeah that's what I'm, that's probably my first memory how is the Murrayfield match day experience now as a player yeah it's pretty cool isn't it coming off the bus is real yeah, cool that's what I was going to say yeah Sunday. yeah coming off the bus is real cool yeah crazy that walk in like behind the bagpipes and stuff there's nothing like there's nothing like it like it's crazy. That's when that. That's the only time I don't tend to get too nervous. But when I'm on the bus and uh, kind of driving through and you're seeing everybody and you get a few butterflies, it's a special yeah, feeling. Feels a bit real. Yeah. Then, when yeah, you get to the stadium, yeah. you know. And then when you all stop at the front of the bus and then all walk together, and everyone just starts going crazy and people are all up at the top. Yeah. It's always cool <laughs> to try to spot your family, see all little yeah, faces. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I remember my first <coughs> cap. I saw my little sister was like up in the, you know, that, the little. Stairs bit where you can like lean over and look down there. Yeah, yeah. Just screaming my name from the top of there. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, definitely the walkout's cool. Yeah. Anthems nice. as well. Anthems real cool. Can't beat it, can you? 
We've got an exciting competition for the Famous Grouse Nation Series, which Ollie's going to go through just now. Yes, if you buy a ticket for our game against Italy by midnight on Sunday the 23rd of July, you could be in with a chance of winning a signed match jersey. But don't worry if you've already bought a ticket, you'll be entered into the draw as well. T's and C's apply. Amazing. How good is that? That, I don't know why you wouldn't buy a ticket if exactly. that is the, the reward. You get Ashy's signature on a shirt. Get my Priceless. Signature. What do you think of the new kit then, Ollie? Oh, I like it. It's uh, fire. It's, <laughs> it's minimalistic, I'd say. That's a good way of describing yeah. it. Thank you. Well, yeah. um, the white one, for me, is maybe nicer than the navy one. But it's less, for, less forgiving. <laughs> a heavier guy. It's less forgiving on the it's gut. Less yeah. We need Beelzy to. Oh, it's unlucky, man. Hey, yeah. people in glass houses here, Ashy. <laughs> um, yeah, we need Beelzy to give them like a stretch before. Because, especially yeah. if it's wet. If it's wet, it's even worse. The white just looks quite cool, I feel. Clean. It looks clean. Yeah, it's nice. Um, but the um, blue with the tartan. Smart. The blue is yeah, nice. very nice. Yeah. Very nice. There's a lot, of, a lot of fine details you maybe don't realise. Yeah. But then if you win a sign match jersey, you'd get You'll to see, see it. it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So make sure that you buy a ticket, sign up, buy. The 23rd of July, which is a Sunday. Smooth. <clears throat> I like it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to Access Scotland Camp. Yeah, thank you, Murphy, for having us on. It's yeah. been good fun. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Hope to see you at the Famous Grouse Nation Series.